Today we're looking at Bass Reeves. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. When you think about the Old West, or Wild West in America during the late 1800s, one of the first images to come to mind is the image of the Western lawman, hunting down wanted criminals and being involved in shootouts with bandits. Although this image of the Western lawman is rather romanticized by movies, TV shows, and, and books, there is some truth to it in American history, and there were lawmen such as this. Some names such as Wyatt Earp, Bat Masterson, and Pat Garrett come to mind, but arguably the greatest lawman of the Old West was Bass Reeves. Reeves was born into slavery in Arkansas in 1838. At about the age of eight, his family moved near Sherman, Texas, still in bondage to the family of William Reeves. When the Civil War broke out in 1861, William Reeves' son George took Bass with him off to fight for the Confederate Army. It is believed that it was during the war that Bass escaped from slavery. One story says that Bass and George Reeves had an argument over a card game, and Bass then physically beat George and made his escape. It's believed that Bass traveled west and hid among the Cherokee, Creek, and Seminole tribes in Indian Territory, or what is today Oklahoma. While there, Bass learned to speak several different Native American languages, became an expert in the geography of the territory, and it's said he became very good with using a pistol during this time. In 1863, Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, freeing enslaved people in Confederate states. Bass returned to Arkansas and began farming. He then married Nellie Jenny, and together they would go on to have ten children together. When the war came to an end the, in 1865, the 13th Amendment was passed abolishing slavery. For several years, Reeves farmed in Arkansas, but was recruited many times to be a guide for U.S. Marshals going into the Indian Territory to capture outlaws. In 1875, Reeves was recruited to become a U.S. Marshal himself for the Western District of Arkansas. Reeves was the first African-American Deputy Marshal west of the Mississippi River. At the time, the district Reeves was assigned to was one of the most dangerous in the nation, with several violent outlaws hiding out in the region. Reeves was given orders to bring them in, dead or alive. Reeves primarily worked out of Fort Smith, Arkansas, and from there would ride out on hunts that would last several months, taking with him several warrants for arrest. Bass made a decent living by collecting the rewards for capturing wanted outlaws. Reeves was known for his great detective work and ability to track down wanted outlaws. He was also known for being quick on the draw and for riding a white horse. On several occasions, Reeves worked alongside Native Americans in his pursuit of criminals as he could speak their language and understood their culture. One of Bass Reeves' specialties was using disguises or aliases to sneak up on criminals he was hunting down. Reeves would pose as a cowboy, a farmer, or even an outlaw himself to gain the trust of those around him before moving in to make the arrest. In one case, he was hunting down two wanted brothers. Reeves tracked down the home of their mother and convinced her he was another outlaw that was on the run. When the two brothers came home and went to bed, Reeves literally handcuffed them while they were in their sleep and then forced them to march over 20 miles back to his camp where a posse was waiting for them. In 1889, Reeves was reassigned to Paris, Texas, where he broke up several cattle rustling gangs. In 1896, Reeves' wife Nellie died, but then two years later, Bass remarried a woman by the name of Winnie Sumner. A few years later, in 1902, Reeves would have to go out on his toughest hunt to capture his own son, Benny, who had been charged with murdering his own wife. Bass captured his son and returned him to Muskogee, Oklahoma, where he turned him over to the authorities. In 1907, towards the end of his lawman career, Reeves became a policeman for the city of Muskogee. A few years later, Reeves died on January 12th of 1910 at the age of 71. Throughout his career, Reeves proved to be one of the greatest lawmen of all times. It's recorded that he made more than 3,000 arrests and was involved in several shootouts, killing 14 outlaws, all in self-defense, according to Reeves. Some historians today contend that Bass Reeves was the inspiration for the fictional character of the Lone Ranger, because there are several similarities between Reeves and the character. 
although other historians argue he was not. But no matter, Reeves was clearly one of the greatest lawmen of all time and a true hero of the American West. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.